question. That, that move to corner, when did, for the spring, when did you know that that was going to happen? And, and how did you how did you take it? And how's it gone? Yeah. Uh, so it happened like right when we came back after winter, because we had had a lot of guys that were banged up from the season. So we had a, like we have the, the corners that are out, obviously. Um, so we had a missing spot. Um, so I mean, I fulfilled it, or oh, I'm fulfilling it right now. Um, and I mean, you said how how how, how yeah, am I taking it? How you handle it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty. It's I feel like I've handled it pretty seamlessly. Um, I really just look at it as opportunity because we have a lot of we have a lot of guys out, obviously. Um, so I just use that as, as an opportunity to better myself from the corner aspects of the game. Because, you know, uh, from playing safety before, I wasn't in a, lot of, a whole bunch of press man situations. So um, getting these reps in the spring um, are really useful, really valuable. Eric, what do you think you've grown the most here in the last 14 practices? Because you know, it was new to you, and obviously you got more comfortable the last couple of weeks. Um, where I've grown really just confidence in yourself. Um, I mean, obviously, I was confident coming into practice one, um, but after watching film and watching yourself succeed, you know, on film and do good things, you know, that confidence just naturally grows within yourself. So, um, I, w I would say the biggest thing is confidence, and that's that's a biggest thing at the or a very big thing at the corner position, just um, having that edge to yourself. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I wouldn't say I have a favorite because, you know, uh, both of them really have like their their caveats to one another, you know, like corners, it's more mo uh, mono y mono type, you know, like me versus you every single play type. Um, where at safety, you're, out, you're able to get around the ball a little bit more, make more tackles, things like that. So, I mean, I, li I love playing both. I wouldn't say I have a favorite. You mentioned press man. Uh, how difficult physically is it to play corner uh, as opposed to safety? Um, well, as far as physically different, I would say just getting winded. You know, um, because you could you could play you, it could be corner and um, the coverage could call for you to uh, have have the number one receiver going deep three plays in a row, and then now it's first down and they've rotated a receiver and now it's a completely fresh new fresh guy coming in to run you deep again possibly. So I would just say. Uh, being in condition was the biggest, the biggest difference for me. We'll go Eric and then Ben. Yeah, there's not many of you guys in reporter uh, this spring. Um, has there been a lot of those guys who have been banged up and out that can kind of coach you in the film room, on the sideline, and, and who are some of those guys? Oh, yeah, uh, a ton of that. I would say every, every single guy that's hurt just pours, is just pouring into every corner that's out there because, I mean, obviously we are shorthanded, and I'm relatively new to the position, so... Um, they are great. I mean, guys like Warren Burrell, Kamal Haddon, um, Deshaun Rucker, Tro Riley, um, they're, they've been uh, very important as, as far as my growth in becoming um, a better corner as the spring's progressed. With, with Desmond Williams, just what have you seen from him this spring, and, and what's it been like for him to join you all and be in the room? Yeah, we love Des, man. <laughs> Des is a character. Des is an athlete, like a, a freak athlete at that. Um, so uh, Des is impressed. Um, he's a new guy, so it's, I mean, it takes everyone a second to adjust. But after after a little bit to adjust, I mean, he's been perfectly fine. Made the transition seamlessly. He's like he's got a big personality. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does have a big personality. That's why we love Des, man. He's not a he's not afraid to show who he really is. I mean, he's he's a little bit of a quiet guy, but other than that, he's a great dude. Vincent and Brent. Christian, speaking of freak athletes, Jalen and Trayvon were complimenting you and said you're a freak athlete. Can you share some examples of maybe? Your athleticism, whether it's a recovery or making a play on the ball, that, that you think have really helped you and, and, um, and been an advantage for you. Uh, yeah, I would just say, I mean, as far as like physical aspects go, I feel like um, I have pretty, I feel like I have good recovery speed. Um, so as far as like being beat and being able to recover and make a play on the ball and just being able to change direction, which is all things that are imperative um, for uh, anybody in the, in the second level to be um, advantageous. Christian, what, what do you think your best skills are as a corner? And if you're not playing corner in the fall, how will this experience this spring make you a better defensive back in a different position? Um, I think the biggest – one more time, I'm sorry. The first part of your question. What do you think your best skill is as a corner? Best skill? I would say being patient. Because um, being patient is a, a, very, a very important skill. And I would say I, I really developed that from playing safety and having to play off man so much. Um, so that's – again, that's what I think uh, will help me carry over the best, being patient. 
Coach Lewis? I know you're focused forward, focused on present, but looking back to last season, you, you got that start against Missouri. It seemed like you were coming along and you get hurt in that game and we're out for a few weeks. How, how tough was that? Did you feel like that, that was a, a, a poorly timed injury that you were starting to build momentum and it might have played more and you're not going to hurt? Yeah, well, I mean, every injury is a poorly timed injury, yeah. honestly. Um, but, you know, at, at a time like that, um, it was like the fourth play of the game I had gotten hurt. <laughs> um, so, I mean, obviously, anybody would be disappointed uh, in, in your first start to get hurt like that. But, I mean, I just used it as a chance to, since I couldn't physically um, be out there doing, uh, like, repping and things like that, I mean, mentally just trying to get my mind right and being able to come in every day and be locked in uh, to meetings or just any information that I'm receiving. Um, so that, that's really what I tried to do while I was hurt during that span. If you do move back to safety in the fall or, or whatever, what's something you're going to take from you know, this quarterback experience with you? Um, once again, patience. Um, being patient and uh, just trusting my eyes. Because, you know, playing corner, everything's about eyes and feet. Um, so if, if I can have my eyes right, then, I mean, moving back to safety would be seamless. A number of the guys have talked about culture. I'm wondering from your perspective and your words, how would you describe how much that has improved with your football team? So much. Um, culture, in my opinion, really just boils down to uh, everybody doing what they're supposed to. I mean, what they're supposed to and just having a camaraderie, that's the biggest difference, in my opinion. The, just the camaraderie um, from our team. You know, I can look to my left and my right and, and know that that's, that's my brother and I know him for real, you know? Um, so I think that would be the biggest thing. We, we all just became very close as a unit. You know, there's, um, we're able to hold each other more accountable and that's a very big thing. Yeah, um, Trey, Trey and Jalen are, are huge for our room. Um, they're guys with tons of experience, obviously. So, you know, you, they're guys that you can look to if you have questions on anything, and you can listen to them and um, really understand the fact that they know what they're talking about. You know, because because they've lived it, they have the experience. Um, so that'd be the biggest thing, just learning from them from the experience that they have. Um, I think now the biggest way it helps me is like seeing like route concepts, um, like being at corner, looking at number two while you're in your pedal and seeing what he's running could give you a big clue on what number one's running. So I, I think that's the biggest thing, just seeing route concepts and timing of throws. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys.